Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Well, my goodness, we're coming very, very close to the end of this quarter and the end of this trading month, and the bulls are pushing hard this morning. We've got the pre-market futures up up 200 points another gap to the upside and i think partially this is um the end of quarter window dressing that i um have been talking about this week um that press to the upside now the question is going to be will they be able to follow through with that after we get this pre-market data coming our way so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you guys know, I've been talking about this area of price resistance in the chart. This morning, the Dow is trying to gap through that price resistance level in the chart. So if that um, economic data coming our way this morning is positive, we might be able to push right on through here and maybe even trigger a little bit of a short squeeze here in the market with that end of quarter uh, push to the upside. So watch that closely. So here's the things I think that are important on this. One of the things that um, I always deem as important is when we break a downtrend and we cross back through to that upside, we need to see proof that we can actually hold that. One of the things that uh, plagued me an awful lot in my trading years ago is I would chase a move like this through, um, uh, through an open like that and then end up catching the reversal um, on that trade. So with the data that we have coming this morning, I'd be a little bit careful with rushing until we see how, um, how the bulls or bears will be inspired by the economic data coming our way. But that being said, if the bulls can maintain this, um, this push to the upside, notice that we're pressing this resistance level right here in the chart. Where's the next resistance level? Well, I would look a bit higher, and these are big point moves that are possible here in the chart. We would look right up in here and maybe catch some of this resistance right here at the top of this level, right across those bottoms. So watch that closely. Now, if those bears were to find um, inspiration on the day in this economic data, then I would probably look for a little bit of a push back down. We might test some support right in here um, in that chart. And if they uh, were to fail through there, then look for a move down here. Now, one thing I would expect is the possibility, I'm not saying it will happen, but the possibility of a pretty substantial move could be coming our way, whether that be a short squeeze or if those bears really get um, emboldened by the data coming our way today. Now, technically speaking, if we look at this chart, we could push up toward that 50 day moving average. And if you'll notice, that's right up there by that resistance level I was talking about. So um, 50 day moving averages tend to do that where they just kind of draw prices to them. We'll want to watch that carefully. If they can trigger that much of a short squeeze, that's going to be a big point move on the day. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, similar situation here going on in the SPY where we're breaking through that downtrend in the chart and you can see just stretching here to the upside. We need a little bit of proof that this is actually going to hold. Um, be careful on the chase just in case we get some bad data and we get that big reversal coming in the market. But let's keep in mind if we do reverse here in the SPY, we might be able to catch this downtrend break right here as support and push back up. And I got to tell you, if that were to occur, that's where I'm going to be turning um, uh, much more bullish here in the market. So watch that carefully. Um, there's that upside trend. So any rest consolidation or pullback into there would be a bullish setup for the upside move. Now, if those bulls find inspiration here today, let's take a look for our resistance levels here in the chart. And I'm going to suggest something right up in here. You'll notice where we catch 
right along these areas here in the chart would be our next resistance level to be tested here so watch that closely that's a pretty big point move for the spy but with the possibility of a bit of a short squeeze that is certainly possible now if those bears find inspiration today i would look for that possible whipsaw maybe to come back down to test this trend line right in here or maybe some of the price support levels that we have established in the chart um, as well so watch those pretty closely looking at our technicals here we're cracking through that 50-day moving average here strongly this morning so we're pushing up through a lot of bullishness trying to press here despite all of the uncertainties that we have coming here in the market so watch that closely and be prepared for some big point moves if we take a look at our qqq qqq by far the strongest index in the market this morning we're going to retest this resistance up here this resistance that we have rejected multiple times so watch that closely if we can push on through the next step is to prove that we can hold up here and hold on to that because we don't want to be chasing right into that resistance level and have that rejected and pulled back right in here let's keep in mind our our bond yields are holding up we've got uncertainty of um, what's going on in um, russia we've got uncertainty of what comes in the next quarter earnings um, about two weeks away um, we still have the uncertainty in our banking situation. There's a lot of things out here that we could stumble on very easily. So be careful loading up on stocks right at price resistance in the chart. Now, technically, this is the strongest of the indexes here, as you can see. Very, very bullish chart. But one of the things that does concern me now is that we're stretching so far away from that 50-day moving average. We may be over baking this situation here, and that could create that substantial substantial consolidation or pullback um, in that chart really stretching away from that 50 and you can see when we do that we often get pretty ugly contraction um, in that index so watch that close and then if we take a look at our IWM IWM also stretching up now this is our most oversold index and as you can see we're pushing up here into some pretty significant price resistance levels of the chart we've been talking about that we have been um, yesterday we did crack through this big bear downtrend we broke back above that, but now we're pressing those levels in here. So again, we have to be watching for that possibility as we press these levels. Will we be able to break through that or will we get that rejection to push back down to find that higher low possibly here in the chart? And then keeping in mind on the technicals here, boy, we still have a lot of work here in IWM. If you'll notice, we still have to get through that resistance and we have lots of moving average resistance above here in the Russell. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX is showing us no fear in the market. And that's really odd to me considering if I back this up and you look at how weak volume has been this week um, that is really odd to me that there is virtually no fear here in the market on the VIX now we'll get, we're going to want to watch that pretty closely um, because if we were to get some bad data and bounce off of this little trend to the upside we could get that nasty little reversal if those bulls find inspiration, however, look for these levels to break. Maybe we test some of these levels down in here. Maybe we do um, reverse this market to the upside despite the uncertainties that we face here in the coming weeks. Watch that carefully. If we look at our T2122, well, our T2122 is starting to give us a situation where we may be reaching a bit of an overbought condition here in the market. Looking at this in T2122, and I don't know why my, um, huh, I don't know why my um, line markers aren't in here on this chart today, but if you'll look right up in here, up here between 100 and 90 is where we hit our 
uh, bearish reversal zone here in the chart and we pressed up there early yesterday kind of settled back down here on that later on in the day but let's watch that closely as we stretch up here into that resistance level now kind of keep in mind that t2122 doesn't give us a direction in a chart it just tells us where those pressure points are so we certainly have that opportunity that we could get that that squeeze here a little bit of a short squeeze here in the market if the data is good pushing us on up but we also want to keep in mind we've opened a big downside opportunity as well if that data happens to come in and inspire the bears let's take a look at our t2108 our t2108 nice improvement yesterday pushing up we finally broke through that little resistance area right here in the chart and now as we push to the upside that next resistance level up here as you can see is right up in this area 26 27 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average is not particularly bullish but it is nice to see that improvement and we'll watch to see if these resistance levels hold or if we're able to push through those um, today with maybe a bit of a, um, a bullish short squeeze. Um, watch that close. And then if we take a look at our T2107, also an improvement there yesterday in T2107, but I gotta tell you, not so much to really get me all that excited um, here in the market. Notice we're pressing this resistance level here in the chart. About 41%, if you remember, I said that might be the upside target yesterday about 41 percent of the stocks um, holding above their 200 day moving average if we can push on through to that upside well let's look for some of these levels up in here we might approach that 50 percent area here in uh, t2107 if they can get that short squeeze fired off let's take a look at our t2101 now with volume being so low i continue to th think t2101 is not showing us the best of data but keep an eye on this we did turn a corner here trying to push up so it's trying to show us that momentum may have shifted here in the market so watch that closely let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today our economic calendar let's get over here and get these charts cleaned up our economic calendar well what i've been talking about here this morning is the things that could really affect us here pretty quickly um, here and that is going to be this gdp number um, consensus has that gdp number coming in flat flat with last month and if that stays the case we might be okay However, with some of the data that we've been seeing this week, it seems to me like that might be a little bit of wishful thinking. That possibility that that could come in a week and that could be one of those negative factors for the market today. However, if it comes in flat like they suggest or even a little bit more bullish than that, then look for the market to really celebrate that today, uh, particularly with this end of quarter um, opportunity here in the market. And then we're going to have those jobless claims now, and those continue to be problematic. They're certainly not helping out the Fed with their activity, what they want to do. That is still way too hot. So watch that closely here on those jobless claims this morning. We're going to have a petroleum, or excuse me, a natural gas report here today. We've got corporate profits, not likely to move the market. A couple of bond auctions, and then later on this afternoon, these may be important today. Um, some Fed speak in there with a balance sheet later on this afternoon and then as you plan forward into friday well just keep in mind friday the fed's favorite number will be coming out and that is the personal incomes and outlays number that personal pce number and right now the consensus is suggesting that did not decline that it stayed flat so watch that closely let's take a look at um our earnings calendar here for today now our earnings is really the number of earnings are really dropping off substantially and um, we're seeing well and that's a normal thing here at the end of quarter and then we're going to have that waiting period uh, for the next couple of weeks before we begin the big bank earnings they think blackrock begins on the 13th so watch carefully for that now the notables here this morning um, um, ANGO. Now keep in mind, 
these may not be particularly notable as far as big market moving reports and it's just simply because of um, we're kind of running out of those big name um, stocks to move the market a bunch. But obviously, ANGO having a little bit of a problem here this morning after its report. We're going to hear from uh, BlackBerry here this morning. Watch that one closely. Looks like it's trying to eke a little bit higher um, this morning. So keep an eye on that. We've got LAC reporting today. We're going to hear from NEOG. Here today nice little pop and drop going on in the pre-market on that one and mrdx whoops mrdx will be <laughs> i'll get it right here eventually maybe it's md rx i think i transposed um some letters there so mdrx so watch that one closely here today uh, for its report um, you'll want to keep them keep an eye on that how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor once again if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you can please do me that favor Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I know it gets monotonous doing it every day, but I truly, truly appreciate the support of the effort that it takes to put these videos out every day. So thank you so much. And if you find these videos worthy of sharing, please feel free to share this video out on your social media feed. That also helps the channel to continue to grow. And just a big shout out to those who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link that's just below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful about how you approach um, a market full of pitfalls right now in big point swings. So make sure that you understand the risk of these trades and that they fit you personally. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Take a look at FUTU, FUTU. Interesting little chart here, trying to um, build a little bit of consensus here in price. Um, uh, basing in this pattern. I would watch that closely. A little bit of volatility been showing up here after that big sell-off. Boy, they just stubbornly stepped right back in and said, nope, we don't want to go down. It's kind of a rejection. It's kind of saying that the sellers might be losing some ground here. Watch for that opportunity if that can pop through to the upside. FUTU might be kind of interesting to pay attention to. Take a look at Spotify. Um, Spotify looking pretty good here holding up in a nice little bullish pattern, holding up in a nice little upside trend. Watch for that next opportunity maybe for that to push on through to the upside. If you guys are thinking short um, in the market, then there are some short opportunities out there. Take a look at Foot Locker. Foot Locker rallying here in, after a big sell-off, rallying back to some price resistance and downtrend in the chart. I'd be watching for that next opportunity to maybe pick up a short position in Foot Locker, considering there's been a quite a few stories out here that uh, it's unlikely they're going to produce a good earnings report this quarter. So um, watch that closely. Now, I don't know if those reports are correct, but keep an eye on that price action. Price would be the reason for the trade. So if we get a failure up here, that might be an opportunity there in Foot Locker. On the other, on the other side of things, if we take a look at stocks like um, indexes like IWM as we press into these big resistance areas, uh, for those of you that are option traders out there, you might want to think about some bear call credit spreads or something like that. If we happen to get a rejection of these resistance levels up there, those could be very, very profitable. I'd be careful with directional puts, particularly over the next couple of days with that possibility of that short squeeze but as we press these resistance levels and we maintain in downtrends 
I would watch for those opportunities for that next short coming up in the market. Um, let's take a look at some other longs here to be paying attention to. Take a look at Pan W. Paula Alto holding up very, very well here. And as you can see, showing a little bullishness in the pre-market. So watch that carefully. My price alerts right in here. It looks like it's gonna trigger that this morning. Could be a nice opportunity for Paula Alto to continue to stretch up excuse me, stretch out to the upside. Um, if we take a look at this trend right through here, we're looking pretty good for that opportunity uh, for that upside move. So keep an eye on Paula Alto. You might want to also be keeping an eye on these financials. Um, you know, we're not at CLF, let's look at XLF. XLF has rallied back up to some fairly significant resistance here in the chart. Um, this could also be setting up for a possible short unless we can kind of squeeze this through some of these resistance areas up here. Remember, the big banks are going to be the first to report in our next quarter and they're gonna start on the 13th and they really began 13th, 14th and 15th. They really ramp up, not 15th, um, 13th and 14th is Friday and Saturday. Thursday and Friday, I mean, Thursday and Friday of next month. And um, then we'll probably see um, after that, the following week, um, that all our earnings will really ramp up. So watch that carefully with that uncertainty. We know their banks are having some major problems with bond losses, lots of debt out there in these banks. So watch that closely. It could be a tough quarter for these big banks. So kind of keep an eye on this. There may be some opportunity shorts that could be setting up in some of these names. So watch those closely. Um, again, on the long side, um, I'm gonna suggest a Roku. I mentioned this yesterday. Pretty good looking chart here. We held on to this support level pushing on up. Now, of course, we've got this little bit of resistance here in the chart, but as you can see, pushing up in the pre-market, watch for that opportunity that this may finally get that opportunity to break on out here, move to the upside. So I would watch that one closely as well. Certainly, you got to keep an eye on these big techs. Um, Amazon had a really good day yesterday pushing up. This is a very bullish pattern in here, holding on that support, pushing to the upside. Let's see if it can break through and really start moving on up. Um, take a look at Microsoft, a really good day for Microsoft, holding into that bullish pattern, pushing on higher here. Um, we see Meta, despite the fact that these companies are laying off lots of folks, Meta continues to hold up very, very strongly, looking bullish here in the chart. I would keep an eye on that. Um, I think we should be keeping an eye on AMD. AMD is one of my favorite um, stocks right now because I do hold a piece of that, so I have a little bit of a bias there, but I'm watching for this opportunity to add to that trade. Now, I do think it might go a little bit early here, um, I'd really rather see it kind of rest and consolidate out to the trend because if we start stretching this trend steep like that, well, they usually don't last very long when they do that. So watch AMD close and NVIDIA, my goodness, NVIDIA has been strong. Keep an eye on that. This is a beautiful bullish pattern stretching to the upside pretty darn steep in its move to the upside, but watch that carefully. And I would say that next target might be right up in here on NVIDIA. So watch that one closely. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today. Be kind of careful here first thing in the morning. Expect quite a little bit of volatility to occur. Remember, anything is possible at the open once we get these numbers this morning. So just take a breath. Don't rush first thing into the market because I would expect some whipsaws could easily uh, be in the mix for the first part of our morning. Um, I want to wish you all the best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care everyone.